While most of us are still brushing away the memories of the summer, in Houston, there's a man with a crucial mission ahead who's been training without a break since August last year. In only a few weeks, Italian ESA astronaut Paolo Nespoli will join another six NASA astronauts on board the Space Shuttle Discovery to fly to the International Space Station. And their task is a challenging one. The Asperia mission is responsible for the safe delivery and attachment of the ESA Finance Node 2 connecting module to the ISS, an essential step for the station to be able to receive the European Columbus Laboratory with the next shuttle flight in December. STS-120 Asperia, it's an assembly mission to the International Space Station. We will carry in the cargo bay of the shuttle the Node 2, which is an Italian-built uh, module, and uh, we'll bring it up to the station and uh, do the initial commissioning of the node. And once we will have attached this module to the laboratory, American laboratory, we will be able then to uh, put on the side the European laboratory and the Japanese laboratory. So this is the importance on the node. In his role as a mission specialist, Nespoli will coordinate three spacewalks from inside the shuttle and carry out a program of scientific experiments created jointly by the European and Italian space agencies, on top of other communication and educational activities. There is a very little time that we have uh, for uh, executing other things more than uh, building the space station. But even this little time, we'll, uh, we'll use it to perform uh, experiments. We will do uh, a couple of very important experiments. And also, we will uh, participate in uh, an educational activity, which will just uh, mean uh, uh, talking to schools on the ground, uh, perform little simple uh, experiments. But these are all uh, things that are focused in uh, uh, captivating the imagination of people and uh, making them understand that uh, we don't do things impossible, we do things that touch uh, everybody. To prepare for this complex assignment, Nespoli and the rest of the space shuttle crew have undergone a long and highly demanding training. We've been working uh, on what we call mission training for about a year and a half. And this is very detailed uh, uh, training uh, focused on this mission. But uh, before getting there, I actually was uh, worked already uh, eight years uh, training here at Johnson Space Center uh, at NASA to get a qualification to fly on the space shuttle as a crew member of the space shuttle, and then uh, and so it's a, it's a long uh, it's a long time. With an Italian name, an Italian astronaut on board, and a node developed by Italian industry and financed by ESA's member states. The Asperia mission puts Europe at the forefront of space engineering and space exploration. As a group, we have a lot of resources, a lot of capabilities uh, that we can uh, utilize and build something that is above all of us. And space provides the necessary challenges, uh, both from a technical point of view than a pol political point of view, uh, for making this goal. Uh, something that is able to unify Europe and make it work better. With the arrival of the connecting node and then Europe's Columbus laboratory and automated transfer vehicle, Europe will not only see the most intense period of human spaceflight in years, but it will also have a fully operational scientific laboratory in space to reap the fruits of its investments. For Paolo Nespoli, it is a dream finally come true. I had a dream when I was a kid and I was watching the astronaut uh, jumping on the moon. Uh, this was a far-flung dream. I mean, it was a, it was a faraway thing. Um, eventually, it turns out that uh, maybe I could do it. And uh, through the years, uh, through uh, stubbornness, uh, through application, through, through doing things, uh, uh, suddenly, uh, here I am, uh, after 10 years of training, uh, all ready to go in space. And finally, this moment is only a few weeks away. Three, two, one. Have a nice flight. After ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery, lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station.